Today we are going to solve a problem in which we will need the concepts of uniform flow, specific energy and the type of slope. So <clears throat> whatever concepts we have discussed till now, the concepts of uniform flow, the concept of specific energy, the type of slopes, etc. We will need all those concepts to solve this problem. Alright, it's a very simple problem. So just uh, first read this out. A 2 meter wide earthen uh, channel carries a discharge of 5 meter cube per second at uniform flow depth of 1 meters. Okay, so what we are given a channel which is uh, which is a earthen channel that means it is excavated in alluvial section. Okay, <clears throat> so it is an unlined canal. Okay, the canal is unlined and what it is saying the soil conditions suggest that the that to avoid erosion the bed slope should be mild. What now what is the meaning first we will uh, discuss the meaning of this terms what we have read till now you know uh, now we have suppose a channel okay and we excavate a channel open channel okay we give some slope we excavate a channel to supply water under gravity without uh, using any external power so uh, energy source what we do we excavate a channel in the ground to transport energy using the gravity okay for that purpose we uh, uh, we excavate a channel in earth okay without lining it so the surface is made up of the soil strata okay the soil strata which is present at the site okay the uh, that strata itself acts as the channel okay the channel is excavated in the same strata but the problem with it uh, there is a problem with that strata is that now you know that this is all made in earth or soil okay now, so what can happen soil is not rigid okay so if the velocity of the flow the water is flowing suppose okay so if the velocity of the flow increases beyond a certain value then what can happen the bed bed of the channel can get eroded okay sediment transport can take place okay that is called as a sediment transport that is movement of the bed particles from a particular point to another point that is called a sediment transport so you can have some erosion okay like this and bed bed level can go down okay so this can damage your canal okay so to avoid that erosion what is given to avoid this kind of erosion we need that the channel slope should be mild <coughs> okay so first question is if the maximum discharge that is uh, to be carried is suppose 5 meter cube per second examine if flattening of channel is needed it means that we uh, what they are saying if 5 meter cube discharge 5 meter cube per second discharge so what they are saying is currently in this channel currently what is happening the uniform flow depth in the channel is 1 meter ok currently 1 meter uh, is the uniform flow depth for 5 meter cube per second cube ok for a cube of 5 meter cube per second now we have to find out if the channel if this channel is going to carry 5 meter cube per second discharge as a maximum discharge whether do you need to flatten the surface now why do we need we will need to flatten the surface because suppose it happens that if for this discharge that is for q equal to 5 meter cube per second if the slope and uh, suppose and normal depth equal to 1 meter suppose the bed slope is steep suppose now we only know the normal depth we don't know the critical depth okay we don't know the critical depth line so we don't know whether this flow is subcritical or supercritical so we do, do not know this 
whether the flow is subcritical or supercritical. It can either be subcritical, critical or supercritical or anyways. Okay. We will have to find that out. Okay. So, suppose if the flow is supercritical. Suppose now. We don't know now. We will calculate that. We will find that out. And suppose you find that, oh, this flow depth is a supercritical flow depth. The flow is supercritical. It means that the channel slope is a steep slope. And what can happen on a steep slope? It is already given. Erosion can occur. So then if that slope comes out to be steep, you will need to flatten the slope. Because if you flatten the slope, your normal depth will go above the, your normal depth will increase. So it will go in the subcritical zone. Okay. And channel will become mild. So this you have to find out. Okay. So what you have to find out basically, we just have to find out whenever you get such problems, what you have to do? For the given condition, you draw the normal depth line. <coughs> now here normal depth line is 1 meters. Okay. Now we know, okay, normal depth is 1 meters. Now find the critical depth line. Suppose critical depth is here. Suppose YC is greater than YN. That means the uh, flow is super critical and channel bed slope is steep slope so in this case you will have to do the flattening so you will have to flatten okay like this you have to flatten so that your normal depth goes above this critical depth line so, and flow will become subcritical and the slope will be mild so no erosion okay uh, so let's check that and how to check that it's very simple we already know the normal depth line, we just need the critical depth line. For that, just calculate the critical depth. So, let's solve the problem. Solution, for the first case, we will solve for A, okay, for this case. Uh, we, the problem also has a second case, we will look into that later. For the first case, we will solve. So, given Q is 5 meter cube per second, okay. The normal depth that is given is 1 meters. Okay. The uh, width of the rectangular channel is now nothing is given, so you can assume that it's a rectangular channel. So, width of the rectangular channel is 2 meters. Draw the figure. So, 2 meters width, normal depth is 1 meters. Okay. Let's find the critical depth now and compare the critical depth with this normal depth. Okay. So, for critical condition, when the flow is critical, what conditions do you know for critical flow? At the critical condition, fraud number is equal to 1. At the critical condition, specific energy is minimum. Again, at the critical condition, we know that Q square by G equal to AC cube by TC. Okay. So, we will use this condition and find the critical depth. Okay. So, suppose YC is the critical depth. So, area of the flow in that case will be in case of critical flow, area of uh, area of flow will be B into YC. Isn't it? Because depth will be then critical depth na? and uh, flow area will be 2 into yc. So, it will be 2 into yc. Again, top width will be b. Okay. <clears throat> so, just put the values in this equation. So, q is what? 5 square upon 9.81 is equal to a is 2 into 2 cube upon yc cube because it will be 2 yc cube upon 2. So therefore, your critical depth comes out as, let's calculate that,
your uh, critical depth comes out as 0.86 meters okay so now you know that critical depth is less than the normal depth so if you plot the critical depth here it will be yc it will be 0.86 okay this is 1 meter this is 0.86 it means your flow is subcritical because normal depth is normal depth is greater than critical depth now what is the condition currently this is your critical depth line which is 0.86 which is yc but your nor your normal depth line is above the critical depth line yn is 1 meter so therefore as the yn normal depth is greater than critical depth flow is <coughs> it will be what subcritical and subcritical flow occurs for which slope mild slope so slope will be mild therefore slope will be slope is or bed slope is mild okay so now we found that for the first case slope will be a slope is a mild slope so do we need to flatten what they have asked examine if flattening of channel is needed okay see if we flatten the channel the normal depth will again increase okay so already it is greater than critical depth so there will be no erosion so no answer will be no flattening is required for case a is needed for if the discharge is 5 meter cube per second for 5 meter cube per second okay so for the first case we don't know, need any flattening had the normal depth be, uh, be uh, had the normal depth be less than critical depth then flattening would be would have been required and always remember whenever you are changing the slopes this critical depth line will remain here itself it is not going to change because it is it only depends upon discharge and base width that means geometry of the channel it has nothing to do with the slope so by changing the slopes you are only changing the normal depth okay fine so now let's go to the next part so part b what does it say now our decision is to is not to flatten the channel because we don't need flattening okay because already channel bed slope is mild mild now will you change your decision are you going to change your decision if same conditions were observed for 10 meter cube per second and channel needs to carry 10 meter cube per second it means now what is the condition normal depth is 1 meter but for a discharge of 10 meter cube per second okay now the second case is what I will draw the second case uh, figure here. Now the normal depth yn is 1 meter, base width is again 2 meters, base width is 2 meters, same, but discharge is, but q is 10 meter cube per second, okay, same for q of meter cube per second now the question is if the channel has to carry this uh, the same discharge that is 10 meter cube per second uh, is the is flattening required that means when you are going to pass 10 meter cube per second at 1 meter depth is the channel mild that means is the flow subcritical because if it is not subcritical then we'll have to do the channel flattening or that means decrease the bed slope okay so let's check that again how we can check first we should find the <coughs> critical depth because discharge is changing so critical depth will also change so for critical condition we know q square by g equal to ac cube by tc okay again q is here 10 so 10 square upon 
equal to area flow area is base width into critical depth because it is ac so it will be 2 into yc cube upon 2 because top width is again 2 this is top width same as that of the base width for rectangular channel so therefore our yc comes out as now for the second case we will calculate the yc oh now the yc comes out as 1.365 meters ok now you can see the difference now the, in, when your discharge is 10 meter cube per second and normal depth if it, if it is 1 meter 1 meters it means that when you when you when you calculate the critical depth your critical depth line is greater than the normal depth line critical depth is 1.365 okay it is 1.365 this is your yc okay so here yc is greater than yn it means the it means what the flow is super critical so in this case in the second case your normal depth is 1 meter yn equal to 1 meter okay this is a normal depth line but your critical depth is greater it is 1.316 365 sorry 365 meters is your yc okay so that means is meaning kya hota hai what does it mean it means that the slope is a steep slope therefore as yc greater than yn flow is super critical and super critical flow occurs for a steep slope so for the second case what will happen there are chances of erosion since the flow is super critical there are chances of erosion therefore what is your answer for the second case for the second case as there are chances of erosion as the flow is super critical so bed slope is steep we will have to flatten the slope okay flattening is required so that the flow becomes subcritical okay for the first case there was no need to flatten the slope but for the second case the flow which is taking place was super critical it means the slope was steep slope and we can have the problem of erosion so for the second case we need uh, flattening of the bed slope okay this is how if we know the concepts of uniform flow uh, the concept of specific energy, type of flows, etc. We can apply that to solve some basic uh, engineering problems. All right, related to the uh, open channel flows. Okay, thank you.